Hello, welcome back to Battle Brothers. I'm Jade Star. And I'm not buried under a mountain of snow. Ah, uh, that's good. Uh, we're about to be yeah. buried under a mountain of undead and bullshit. I mean, that's, that's the undead crisis. Plenty of undead and plenty of bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that guy's hat. The undead auxiliary. Oh, yeah, one sec. I gotta scroll up and see it. I didn't get a good look at it. Oh, yeah, the, uh, the little winged bronze helm. Yeah. Yeah. Those are great early game helmets, but they're weight inefficient towards anything that you can actually buy or loot off of uh, good brigand raiders. Yeah, I mean, most of the undead and yeah. really all of the orc gear is like that. Yeah. Well, the orc, you never get the chance to loot um, armor or weapons off of. Not, not armor or weapons, armor or helmets. Well, yeah, you don't, you don't get to use the orc armor because they cheat. It's like how the orcs have like 300 HP. Oh yeah, it's they just hilarious. They just have way inflated stats. Yeah. Although that much HP isn't actually always as good as you think. You figure like, oh, you'd be a fucking juggernaut. It's like, well, if your armor goes away every time you take 15 HP of damage, you make a morale check. So you're probably going to break and flee before that HP goes away. I mean, that is one of the ways that you deal with orcs. Yep. Sun them, train their stamina, and uh, do morale checks, at least on the Orc Yacht. I'm not actually sure that the Berserkers can break like that. Oh yeah, break, uh, Berserkers can absolutely uh, suffer morale, and it's actually usually pretty easy because they have less defense and just as sometimes little to no shirts. armor, sometimes a little bit of bone armor. Uh, yeah. The Warriors are a pain in the ass though because they have 300 HP and then like are wearing like looted scale mail from Knights, and it's just like, oh fuck, we're going to be here for a while. Uh, anyway, this fight, though, uh, a mix of shitty skeleton, shitty zombies, and somewhere, Necro Savants, our fucking favorite thing to see during the end-end crisis. Well, I mean, at least you can maybe take advantage of the hill. I'm hoping, yeah. I mean, a lot of the, uh, the skeletons forgot to bring oh. shields, so, yeah, they just kind of disappear, and they don't get back up, so that's, that's great. I'm happy about that. Yeah, it's nice that they don't get back up. You know, skeletons, all the with blunt weapons, as we've just seen demonstrated. <laughs> oh yes, there's our new guy in the middle, Sigmar. Uh, Sigmar yeah. I didn't rename him, he was named that, and I just like, you know what, no, I'm not renaming him. So, uh, sorry people who signed up. By the axe, Sigmar just doesn't roll off the tongue as well. What? Isn't it supposed to be like Sigmar's Comet or something, or...? By the hammer of Sigma. Oh, by the hammer, okay. Right. Hmm. Well, I would give him a hammer, but we've only seen, like, one war hammer, and the game's got it over there. And god damn it, is it expensive to buy, like, the, the highest tier weapons from shops? Like, fucking 3,000 gold to, to give him a hammer? It's like, nah, we've looted a couple of extra fighting axes off of fallen heroes, sticking with that. Yeah. Oh, Stupid slashing damage resistance, I guess. Well, I mean, he also hit the head. Oh, yeah. The place they're wearing oh. armor. Oh, okay. That's... Nope, that's bad. Stay away. Actually, that one's not so bad. He just landed next to the battle lines and... And that one, so... Uh, Rail and Sigmar might be able to get a couple of free shots in. That could be bad, though. Two to hit, eighty-two to hit. <sighs> Stupid damn nine lives. Yeah, right. Oh, my lives. Those are some good hits so far. Yeah. Really happy to get some early hits on those guys. Another skeleton down. Nice to see these skeletons crumbling away. Um, Sigmar. Nice. Yeah. Ah, Whatever. Sigmar's first thing he did with the company was kill a Necro Savant. So, you know, uh, prophecy and something. I, I don't know. Warhammer fantasy lore or whatever. <laughs> Destined for great and terrible things. Oh, fuck your nine lives. But still, that's, uh, that's a Necro Savant dead before anybody got injured, so I'm super happy about that. Ah, god damn it. Okay, that didn't hurt too much. But Lokai was, was looking pretty abandoned here. Yeah, he's got travel log next to him. 
Oh, and there we go. <laughs> that's, wow, that's cow, looking a little bit better now, yeah? Well, those were mostly around travel logs. Let's see, because he was able to cleave them. Yeah. Uh, I mean, even though Wow Cow only took like a tiny hit, uh, friggin' Kopesh inflicted bleeding, so he's still losing out HPs. Again, HP is another stat I'd like to put more in uh, every time I level up, but uh, just it's so minor and inconsequential. It kind of sucks to think that, like, yeah, like 51 HP on like Rail, for example. Like, the Kopesh does five a turn bleeding, so 10 over two turns, just even if it nicks you. Yeah. That's that that is a lot, even if you survive the injury. And then, you know, whatever the injury is on top of that from just being hit by the freaking weapon. And also if you don't like one of the reasons to boost hit points is it does give you a little bit more of a chance to survive those crossbow headshots. <laughs> and that's that's really like in the long run, yeah, you can get killed by you know, rough situations. But it's always a five percent chance that the crossbow's gonna come flying out from some <laughs> asshole bandit nail you in the face, and it just does enough damage to kill any brother from fall health. Uh, uh, a heavy enough... The heaviest armor. A heavy enough helmet ought to stop that, maybe with... No, oh, Battle Force. Oh, hey! Tactics, check that out. Boom. Um, and then also the, uh, was it, the Steel Brow perk would help deal with yeah. that. Steel Brow mm, kind of feels mandatory if you want to get rid of that kind of bullshit. Oh man, even the wider gigas have nine lives. Nice. Hey, are we out of necro savants? And that was four of them. Nice. Wow, okay, and all we have to show for that is uh, Wow Cow's nicked up a bit. Nice. This went a lot better than I was fearing. Yeah, I mean, they did sort of jump past their lines. They tend to do that. But you also did take two of them out and expend two nine lives and like the first two attacks against them. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Only one zombie? Come on, guys. Are you even trying? Oh, flails so good against skeletons. I wish the flail mastery perk would be able to ignore, like, shield wall. There was a time when just giving everybody flails was a pretty common strategy. Or at least common enough that people would post about it. Mm. So I'm not surprised that they are a little bit gun shy about doing stuff with flails. Although, one of the things in the DLC, and now we keep talking about the DLC, right. so not appearing in this LP. <laughs> yeah. But, uh,. You know, I just like that they filled some of the gaps with weapons. There are more types of two-handed weapons. Right. Starter two-handed weapons. Yeah. And then you've got, like, the triple-headed flail, which is, I don't know if it's any good, but it attacks three times every time you swing it. Right. Uh, it's good against things that you want to make, like, just get some hits in. Like, I imagine it would be good against goblins, where you don't need, like, a full damage hit. You just need two hit, and they're evasive little assholes. Or, or like the guys. Oh, jeez, I forgot. I always forget to cure bleeding before I move a dude. Yeah, rip. Whatever. Five HP lost. You just have to treat it before the battle ends, right? Uh, no, that's like nicked artery or grazed neck. Uh, the bleeding from a Kopesh or a, a cleaver type weapon goes away after two turns. That one won't, uh, won't turn into injury. No. Those injuries are specific serious injuries from taking large amounts of damage. I guess I didn't realize that the Kopesh's move was temporary. Yeah, it's a cleaver weapon, like just like the scrim sacks and the, the military cleaver yeah. that we've used. Yeah, I, I thought the cleaver bleeds kept going. No, only two turns. Uh, without the mastery, it's five damage for two turns, and with the mastery, it's ten damage for two turns. Wow, now travel along, suffering. Out of stamina. Being too good. <laughs> Got too many AoE, kills it. 
I mean, it's amazing that I can actually run Travelog out of stamina. He's actually one of our best stamina-ish brothers, and he's also not carrying a shield for uh, extra weight. Uh, he has like, like need a shield for. 70 plus stamina, and I can still run him out of it. But that's like kind of the problem with Berserk. It's like, oh yeah, super great, you gotta get extra attack in every now and then. And then you realize, oh yeah, it doubles my stamina consumption. And then, eh, whatever. Well, I guess receive some of these, whatever. We'll get them both before more assholes come back. Right. Still, so glad zombies stay down. Or not zombies, skeletons. Honestly, I'm not sure why there isn't a, like, a dismember corpse action. Right. To make the huge wire thing to pile so much less bullshit. Right. Not, not as great as showing this travel log this time. Right. Well, there's less things to hit. They weren't getting back up. Where's, uh... Oh, there he is. There's Sigmar. 422 XP. His, uh, his training at the, uh, the Veteran Hall paying off. Nice. Right. And, uh, and only a pair of ashes. I assume those things are, uh, going to be used for some sort of crafting thing in the DLC. I'm that, not sure. That we will not be seeing. Right. Uh, so, we didn't make a whole lot out of this fight. Thankfully, it didn't go nearly as bad as it could have been, but it was just kind of another thing to wear me down a little bit before we go on to the quest objective again, you know, as I constantly get sidetracked from it. But next time, next time the Coven of the Old Master, complete this quest, go home, profit, etc. Thank you all for watching.